Lance. I am currently enrolled at Cypress Bay High School. Hi, my name is Sue Ann Chin. I attend Stranahan High School and I also attend BC. Um, I'm John Gonzalez. I am from Monarch High School and I'm currently a senior. I currently am enrolled at Broward College uh, through Early Admission Program. Uh, what I've enjoyed about dual enrollment is it has given me a head start to how college is going to be. Also, it gave me the opportunity to see different subjects to where I went ahead after I graduated from high school. I've taken language classes, economics, literature, math classes, and it has given me a little bit of a head start to, to see where I want to do after I graduate from high school. What I like about dual enrollment is a chance of getting out of school early because due to my school at Shanahan High School, we have block schedule where I get out of school after fifth period. So after that, like I can just go wherever I want to. And it's, I get the chance of getting college credits because when you take AP courses, there's no guarantee that you will pass the class. And even if you get an A in the class, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get that credit for the college. So therefore, if you do take dual enrollment, there is that high chance you are gonna get it unless you just fail but you will pass. I really like the freedom. I love choosing my own classes, my own teachers, my own times, and I love the liberty of knowing I can just choose my own path. Well, I chose to become a dual only student. Um, this past summer, my teachers told me about it, my counselors told me about it, and it's a great opportunity to raise your GPA and to become more rounded of what things are gonna be when I graduate from high school. My first option was to become a college academy student, but then I thought about prom, grad bash, and everything, like what I would miss out on. But then again, it's like, I thought about high school and college, and dual enrollment fits perfectly for that because even though you experience the college life, you still get to enjoy the experiences of high school. The benefits. I really, I chose it knowing that I would be able to attend Broward College and take classes. I knew that high school and college credits would both be taken care of um, simultaneously, so I knew that it would be, it would be beneficial. Well, I have already applied to five um, universities here in Florida. Um, I plan to attend a four-year university and hopefully in the future um, aim to get my PhD. Being a high school student and a college student at the same time is really interesting because other students look up to you. You get a lot of ratings because everyone is like, really, you go to high school and college at the same time? Like, it, can't, it must be tough, but how are you handling it? I can't handle it. How does that happen? So, like, people look up to you. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit hectic. Um, a lot of work, activities, you go here, you go there. But, I mean, it's all worth it because you become well-rounded. Um, myself, I am the secretary of the Career Association Club at my high school. And I'm also involved in many national honor societies, helping out the community, community service hours here and there. But I mean, everyone can do it. Um, I believe us teenagers should be occupied and should be helping around other places. And also doing their own classes because this teaches me independence and discipline. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we all need once we graduate from high school since we're basically on our own. It's very, there's a lot of um, positive experiences. I, I really enjoy it. It helps me transition from being a high school student to definitely having a college mindset. It kind of uh, pushes you to gain a lot better responsibility and a lot better um, grasp on to kind of work harder and to work better, not only for yourself, but academically. Coming in to be a dual enrollment student, 
depending on if they're a morning person or a night person, that's how they should choose their schedule. If they know they're more active during the day, choose classes that are after the time you get out of school, therefore you won't have to go home and come back for night classes. But if you prefer night, then go ahead with night classes. <laughs> My main advice would actually be to, if anything, I would say to gain a lot better relationship with both your guidance counselor at your college and a guidance counselor at high school. You need to know what paperwork to be done, you need to get, um, you need to have certain things ready. So you need your paperwork to be filed, you need to register for classes, you need both your high school uh, guidance counselor and your college guidance counselor to both sign off on same pieces of paper and, and things like that. So you need, you definitely, if I were to say anything, is just be organized and get your things together before the deadline so that if something does go wrong, you have time to correct it. I will totally tell them to take Kudunomi classes, as I said, so that they can see if you're a little bit undecided to what you want to do after you graduate from high school. Take language classes, math classes, literature, history. I myself have taken various math courses, and I see the interest that I have in them, and I think that's what I'm going to be headed after I graduate from high school, and hopefully, become an architecture, you never know, with the math classes I have taken.